Hello and welcome back to Mordheim, City of the Damned. It's uh, Wellentark, the 30th of Zimmerzeit, and uh, we're doing pretty well. Uh, we're currently just going through doing, uh, well, brutal and above difficulty missions. Uh, so this one will do just fine, I think. Uh, brutal marked for death. Uh, good deployment options. Yes, I like the sound of this very much. Um, so we've still got Crowthrow being trained up behind the scenes. Uh, so we're taking right off and Mobho again. Um, got some more training coming up there. So let's swap those guys out. Uh, other than that, I think this looks fine. Your scouts have discovered a rival warband in the vicinity. These warriors are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. So this looks like we're up against the sisters, so we don't need to worry too much about ranged attacks. Let's have a look at the map. Deployment wise, very long corridor. Got a cluster there, cluster there. Um, those are just incidental of course. Um, and that's pretty much it. There is a smaller cluster there which I'll mark as well. Uh, we might head up the left hand side I think. It's slightly less uh, problematic. Uh, we've got a uh, good point there and there uh, for holding them up. So yeah, we go there. Aladel, you can be a bit further behind. Mob whore somewhere nearish the front. About here, I think. Right, Tosh, mid back. There we are. Farik, actually, that's good. Kragor, all the way at the front because you're slow. And Asdon, the same. You guys are all kind of familiar with the uh, deployment these days. 117, that is very fast. I wonder what that is. Alright, Svogaz. Uh, oh yes. I've decided, as I mentioned before, to try and use Perception some more. Especially with Svogaz, because he's very good at it. Just help me spot and avoid those traps along the way. So, we're going to settle here, I think. Just sit in ambush dance. Ooh. We see something already. We can. Who is that? That is the person who is really, really quick. She's actually made it really far. Um, but she's not going to make it all the way down. Uh, so we can stand uh, happily just around this corner out of the way. We'll go on ambush stance. Hello, Del. You can come catch up. And uh, what I will do, actually, before I start, is Weapons of Destruction on Mopor. And then when I get further down the other end, I should do the same on Svogaz. We know there's a trap here, so we'll be avoiding that as well. About here, I think, is good. Uh, cast Weapons on Svogaz. Oh, failure. We'll try that once more. Cross our fingers for no curse. Excellent. Uh, just end our turn. I don't actually want to ambush with uh, this guy. It'll just put us in a dangerous position overall. And we're going to run most of our other troops up here. We'll have the archers covering this courtyard area. Slow anyone else down. And... Uh, Bring our Dark Souls as far forwards as possible to pick up the uh, weird stone that's in that big cluster over there. That's the plan anyway. We shall see how it unfolds. Oh, oh. Charge! Mopo could pick up some. Um, it's perhaps not the best use of his talents. We stand here-ish. That's a reasonable position. Another good front liner. And a right-osh. You can uh, 
come this way. And uh, get a fairly good angle here, I think, actually. We move you back. Any chance of getting high? Don't think so. No. Just overwatch here. We'll bring someone else over as well to provide a little bit of frontline support. Um, I suppose Farid can uh, also provide some arching coverage. Side by side. That should do. And then, yeah, um, these two, Asdon and Kragor. We can uh, bring them close to the wall and set them up on ambush stance in case anyone does try and get forwards and charge at us. They don't have a huge amount of moves, so this will be fine. Round about here, I think. Could possibly have gone to the other side. Now, we do have two specific targets that are marked for death. This is not one of them. It would be nice to find Lana and Esther, um, but we don't have to. Of course, we can just win this through the old battlefield method. Mm, yeah, run all the way through, I think. Don't quite have it in you. This is probably fine. We shall see in a moment, I guess, when their hero comes forwards. Of course, they've got the uh, remainder of their team first. Uh, also need to remember that they have an impressive uh, Maiden of Sigmar. Largely immune to ranged attacks. We'll have to focus mostly on just getting Svogaz and Mopor up there. Up front, dealing lots of damage. Possibly even tanking with the Dark Souls if we have to. They can... Uh, at this point, they can keep a hero fairly well occupied. Web of Steel will help over time if they a survive that long. Has started. So we know roughly where this one is. Over in that direction. No sign. Let's uh, send Svogas out for a little cheeky peek. There she is. Well, we'll move up. Try and keep an eye on... Everyone that might be in the area. Do a little bit of intel gathering, as it were. She's probably on ambush stance, so let's go a little wide. Just around here. Still not seeing anyone else. Uh, probably means she's a really good target to um, ambush. So what I might do is I might send Svogaz in here. Go and pick up my movement again. So, come round and into this. And then if I walk forwards a little, just a little bit slowly, hopefully I can get her to charge at me. That would be quite nice. What's her dodge like? That's a good question. It is 85%. Okay, so we don't want to daredevil. We want to uh, do a blood offering instead come on are you on ambush are you not on ambush that's very surprising all right change our movement angle just a little i wonder if we can uh, get into combat and still have enough for sidestep afterwards if we just walk up that would be nicest I think it's going to be very hard to uh, arrange, but let's see. Maybe just. No, not quite. That's a shame. Should have probably just assumed that that wasn't going to work and just charged in. Still, not to worry. Uh, she's going to get a lot of counter attacks on us. This is uh, going to be a little bit painful along the way. Unless we get lucky with a stun. 58, that's okay. And then just regular attacks. Good, solid damage here. Although I am, of course, acutely aware that it's weakening us in preparation for their hero, uh, the uh, impressive unit, sorry, 
to come over. Oh, there's the critical hit. Thanks. That was uh, right on time. And uh, I'm just going to stand back here on dodge. It gives me a little bit of defensive option. Um, and of course, every little bit will help. Just assuming anyone does come forward. As I said before, it seems that uh, this was really quite advanced. There we are. Who's that? That's their leader. Okay, some comet damage on Svogaz. I wonder how many times she can cast that. That is not very nice. And then Amber Stance. Okay. Aladell. Let's pick up some of these since you're not great for most things in general. Big ones, yes. There we go, full load. Then we'll buff up Mopor because he's going to attack next. And then we'll go around and see if we can do something to help Svogaz. So weapons of destruction here on Mopor. Chains of Chaos, if I've got it, could be quite useful. Let's uh, come around and see what we can do. Do I even have Chains of Chaos? Uh, where's my spells? Do. Range is only 15 meters. That is not a huge amount. Well, first things first. We'll do weapons on Spogaz. No chance of getting a curse on this, so that's quite safe. And then see how close I have to get in order to be able to cast chains. Oh, is that it? Brilliant. All right, so we'll cast chains now. And that should gimp the leader for next turn. And then I've still got position uh, to tuck myself in behind Svogaz. Uh, not going to be on dodge dance, which is a little bit of a shame. Someone could run all the way around, but I should be able to position Mopor to protect myself. Or actually, given that Mopor is going to be protecting me, I can just dodge dance here and get at least some defensive. Yes, that seems like a better idea. So, Mopor, you could uh, run in and do your thing. I think I'll leave those for someone else to pick up. Not going to get a chance to charge. That's too far. I think I can run that better, actually. Because I was over in this corner. If I take it straighter along this edge, I think I can get closer. Run between them, maybe? Yes. Just edge up a little. Really want to get that charge without getting ambushed. Oh, it's alright. They missed. So, Blood Offering, then three attacks, I think. And this should cause quite a nice block for the area. Okay, they can sort of get past a little, but then they'll be engaging Svogaz. I don't think they can get past on that side, because we're sort of in the way. Yeah, this is pretty reasonable. Then we might be able to get another Dark Soul to come round the side and assist. And since she's using a Warhammer, we can at least go on parry stance. Right, Osh. Um, could come along and do some shooting, I suppose. Let's pick up these first. Since he has the uh, best benefit from actually carrying them. It's a small buff on the turn that he picks them up. Shadow Lord's Touch. And then if we come around here... Okay, big old Svogaz is in the way quite a lot. But we should get a nice... There we go. Shot through the middle. Okay. 
I think I need to get a little bit closer in order to do my special shots. Or maybe it's only when target is not engaged. That's entirely possible as well. Let's double check that. So, active skills. Hand shot. Oddly, it says a uh, range of zero meters. Um, no valid targets in range. Yeah, so I guess it's probably actually a target single enemy not engaged or something like that. Since it's not showing up for me now. Still, doesn't matter. We can just throw arrows. We might even get a kill. She's not one of the marked for death though. Awesome. So we can reload and go on Overwatch and provide our team with a little bit more defense. So Overwatch starts about here. And we can bring Forry Cup to do the same. Whoops, forgot about that trap. We could do the same over here somewhere. It's probably worth us uh, just scouting a little with what movement he does have. Since we're going to be on Overwatch, no defensive. Um, but then coming back to here to at least get, there we go, a nice angle on a few more of these doorways. Been with me a long time, Farik. Kragor. Let's uh, run through and take up the front line. Actually loot this lot. And then just act as kind of like a blocker on Amber Stance. Can see someone else. Jumping off something. There they are. There's the Overwatch shot. Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, they seem to be wanting to pick up the uh, weird stone over there. Not that there's any problem with that. But we shall bring Asdon over this way instead. No defensive option if we uh, go any further forwards and they're on ambush stance. So I think I'm just going to... Apparently trigger the ambush because they've got longer range than we do. And I keep forgetting that sometimes. Um, we may as well go for a strong blow. This is not great for us, admittedly. Mostly the problem we have at the moment is that we uh, didn't charge. And ouch. And we've got no defensive option afterwards. Uh, but we can bring Svogaz around as like an emergency save if we need to. Um, just end turn. No defensive options here. And hope we don't get swarmed. That was a, a spot of bad positioning by me. Who is this one? This is uh, Wilder. No, she's also not one of our targets. Yeah, I'm thinking the other enemies might actually be kind of like in this position. Or, alternatively, they might be trying to move down onto this weird stone area. It's obviously a bit hard to guess, but uh, those would be my two options. I think it's more likely they're kind of like set behind these buildings. Just based on the fact that we've uh, not seen them cross that corner at all. Uh, but they could be faster than I anticipate. That's always an option. Uh, so guys, if you'd like to just walk up and eat, I suppose. That's going to be good. Uh, what's the dodge like on this? 85%. Wow, they've got great dodge. They really do. And sure, I penetrate quite a lot of the dodge chance. Um, but not that much. I, I prefer them to have about 50%-ish before I go daredevil. Uh, so we're just going to stick with the old blood offering. Oh, it's a miss. Hmm. There's three attacks then. No, not blood offering. There we go. Just attack. Nice stun. 
We could just leave combat at this stage. Uh, leave it for the other guy. Um, but no, I think we'll go attack here. Get that sorted. And then reposition ourselves a little bit to be defensive here. So go on sidestep. That'll give us two incoming dodge attempts to anyone that comes nearby. Although not against meteors, as we've discovered already. We'll go through our usual buffing regime. So we get mob hole. And we'll angle ourselves to get Sfogaz. And then since we've got quite... Oh gosh, we can see they're impressive. Where is she? Over there. Okay. So she'll probably get to move to about here. Uh, the good news is, she's not one of the marked for death. So we don't have to kill her. Mad, 105% dodge, that is. It's not nice. I mean to all alone, fear. Prayer of swiftness, uh, of course, that's it. Yes. Casting lots of spells on herself. Mm. Well, we know where she is. Let's run around a little, see if we can see anyone else as well. Definitely know that she's there now. We can see her through there. Um, fine. Uh, retreat. We don't want our leader to be too far forward. Uh, we'll sort of wait back here-ish. Just behind this wall, I think. And uh, dodge stance. Well, Paul, how much space do you have? You've got loads. You can come pick up all of this weird stone. Now, yes, we do sort of need uh, the space for picking up the uh, holy to tokens or whatever they are for the Sigma rites when we eventually take them out in combat. Um, but at that point, we can just drop some of the uh, smaller weird stone fragments. Finally got a negative warp effect. Those uh, horns only add like 50% warp resistance. Which, you know, stacks with his innate 20%, I think. Yes. Lovely. Um, where's best to hold you? Like, here-ish? And do I hold you on a defensive thing? Or... Possibly... Might be better. I'll get one counter attack as opposed to one ambush attack. Um, no, let's let's go harder, and we'll go on ambush, and we'll do it here. That should cover the doorway and the gateway. Uh, Rytosh is not going to be any use at all against that impressive beyond slowing her down. But we can pick up... Oh gosh, these are terrible. Well, I suppose we can take one of these. And then, yeah, not great... We'll stand back here on Overwatch. And Farik, reload. And if you come up and do the same as well, please. All we're doing here is slowing the advance so we can plan a proper engagement when we know which way round she's going to come. Or indeed, one of the other Sigma rites. No, it looks like it's going to be the impressive. I'll probably uh, stand here, I think. Uh, parry stance for a the moment. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of bait. 
especially when it comes to using your Dark Souls. After all, they're not really good for much. Ooh. I'll take that and that. That oil bomb's interesting. Could potentially use that. Like, that should appear in my uh, list of things. Yes. There we are. So, yeah, it's just targeted AoE fire damage. Cool. Might use that at some point. We shall see. Uh, for the moment. Uh, up to about here-ish. Maybe right here. And parry. Don't have as much parry on the uh, poor Asdon here. I think he lost an eye at some point. Right, so where is their maiden going? Oh, we saw her. She's coming through the building. Okay. That's good and bad. I mean, we can definitely slow her down. That's good. Not quite sure what Divine Revelation does, but we can find out. Uh, she's also gone on Ambush Dance. Ooh, from behind. And Charging Svogaz. That seems foolish. And she's one of the ones that we need to uh, kill and loot. No, she's not. I got her name wrong. That's another Wilder. A new round has started. God, is it like everyone that we haven't seen yet? Oh, I suppose it is, isn't it? Well, Spogaz, you have to start with the blood offering. Also, your health is not great at the moment, so let's not send you near the impressive, okay? We'll just uh, have you do what you do best. Oh, dodge. That's a little disappointing, truth be told. It's fine. We've got plenty of other people around to come over and help and definitely get her killed this turn. But it would have been nice to uh, not have to think about that at all. Um, so we'll go on sidestep here. In fact, we may even just be able to order Svogaz to do some attacks. Ooh, I can cast... Uh, Chains of Chaos on their impressive. That's a good idea. So, uh, we'll order Svogaz to attack first. Great. Stun. So now we don't need to worry about that at all. I could even walk in and probably hit with my staff. Does it take three to attack? I think it might. So it's a shame you can't see by default. I suppose I can uh, like hover over myself here and then go into the tab things. Uh, each successive attack is plus one. So maybe not. Maybe it only costs two for the first thing. Can I get Chains of Chaos down through there? That would be really nice. Chains of Chaos, yes. That's annoying. Um, hmm. Well. Yeah, let's just uh, finish this off, I suppose. One hit point. Is that all she had, really? <laughs> kind of funny. Right, uh, dodge stance. And then we shall consider what we can possibly do here. So right off, reload. You're going to finish on Overwatch at least. Uh, you've got 1% chance to do this sort of stuff. That's not great. Like, even aim shot is not going to increase that because of the minus 200%. It's best to send you to find someone else to shoot, I suppose, to start with. Like if we bring you out this way. Can you see where anyone else is hiding? Not that way. Okay. 
Let's take you back and a little wider. Hmm, also no. They could be back the way we came, like where this one came from. And we do have quite a lot of move. No, still nothing. Hmm, okay. Right, back to where we started then. And we shall uh, just throw arrows, I suppose. Gosh, this feels impractical. There's nowhere that I can move that doesn't have at least 15% cover. So, yeah, just throw arrows. One in a hundred chance, eh? Reload. Yeah, there's no point doing aim shots. May as well try the hand shot as well. Why not? Reload once more and then overwatch for the remainder. Farik, reload. You have exactly the same problems. One in a hundred shots, so that's really not going to work. Reload. Uh, you can just go on overwatch again though. mystery person. This is probably Lana or Esther. Oh, there she is, coming from that side. Yes, that's Lana. Oh, bad time for her to be coming over to engage. Hmm. Do I send Mobport over? Kind of feel like Mobport should be kept back here for the impressive. Yeah, really think that's the better option here. So, somewhat back here, maybe here. And ambush stance. Kragor. You could tank her for a while. You definitely have that ability. So if I put you here on Web of Steel, of all things, you'll get two parry attempts. And each one should get a counter-attack. As done. You're kind of doing okay. I like the way that your edge covers that doorway. We should be able to get two on one here. So you can just sit on Web of Steel as well. Uh, you only have like 60% chance to parry, so it's not great. But I'm hoping that's going to be enough to keep you alive a bit. There's that Divine Revelation again. Don't know what that does. Sigmar's Might, I believe, is a damage buff. I'm liking all of these failures here. Oh, she's not going up, is she? That is unexpected. And then Ambush. Interesting. What a peculiar move. A new round has started. So, can we see everyone yet? No, we can't. Uh, we have this problem, of course. Uh, she's on Ambush Dance. Uh, she also hits like an absolute truck. She's got a huge dodge. I don't want Svogaz to go near her. I don't want Svogaz going near the other one. So we can go the long way round. So back and round. Like, stick within our colleagues' zones of influence. That keeps us safe. Over here. Can't get through this wall. Bum. That would be really nice if I could. Should move back to my start point. Get all my move back. There we go. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I might be able to do that move better. Don't ambush, don't ambush, don't ambush, don't ambush. Okay. Don't think I can get past Rytosh. And even if I can, she can probably ambush across. Yeah. Oh, tricky. Um, so I can get through here and then round here. 
and that's almost enough, but not quite. How much health do I have? 215. She's got no offensive points remaining. Okay, that changes things. She's got one attack on that ambush. And that's it. So, we can... Actually, yeah. No, we can just run into combat with her here. Yes. That will work. So, start with the blood offering. She's got no counterattacks. 608 health is humongous. But I reckon we'll be okay. Nice. That would have been great if we'd stunned. She's got a very high stun resist, though. Oh, amazing. Oh, that is so good. Everyone absolutely just bundle her now. Good work, Svogaz. Uh, go on, sidestep, just in case. Never can be too careful with these things. Eladel, uh, you could even just walk up and get a bunch of hits if you wanted. But, for sanity's sake, let's do Weapons of Destruction on Svogaz. Failure? Hmm. Okay, this time, Weapons of Destruction on Mobhor. I'm afraid there does come a limit. And we're going to order Svogaz to attack. Uh, no, we, we really should do weapons on Svogaz. It works out better overall, uh, like considering that he'll get several attacks to that one. And then we can come this way. Assume that she's going to survive, because I'm a bit paranoid like that. Go Chains of Chaos on her. Weird light, that's fine. Nothing's going to be shooting at us. And then let's get back behind here. Go on, dodge stance. Yes, a successful maneuver. This is feeling quite good. Let's reload. Rotosh can just plug that one with arrows. So, hand shot. Uh, this way, please. 95%, nice. Oh, th thanks. There's that one in 100. Uh, it's probably still worth doing a hand shot. Lowers their chance to hit by quite a lot. Good. And then an aimed shot. Or an overwatch. I think an aimed shot. Yes. Wow, Rytosh, what is up with you at the moment? Uh, reload and do nothing else. Uh, Farik, you can come over, throw some arrows as well. And yes, that is technically correct. They are throwing arrows. Do an aim shot. Good work on the stun resist. And mob paw. Let's see. Uh, if I charge blood offering and then attack once, is that better than just blood offering and attack? No, blood offering attack three times is the best. Say so blood offering. Especially if I do critical hits, that's very nice. And even though it says there's an 82% chance to hit, uh, because she's stunned, it's actually guaranteed. Excellent. Very pleased to have taken her out in one turn. That is going to make things so much nicer for me. Uh, I'm going to come over here and protect the archers and uh, go on dodge stance. Uh, 
Oh, and they failed their route test. Well, we didn't get a chance to really engage anyone that was marked for death. Um, but all in all, I'm very pleased with the way that that went. Yes, excellent work, everyone. Your ruthless ambition serves you well. The Shadow Lord will reward you greatly for your skill and loyalty. You are progressing nicely. Why, right, thank you. So, as Don got critically hit, uh, so he has to make a roll on the injury table. Uh, it's only a light wound, though, so he's going to be out for a couple of days. That's a no big deal, all in all. Now, what did we get? Uh, heavy armor leadership. I'll check out what that is. I have a feeling it's not very good. Uh, master formula of misfortune. I wonder what that does. Maybe increased curse chance or something. Uh, we'll sell the majority of this. Um, blue stuff we don't care about. Uh, we never did get to use that oil bomb. Let's... Uh, do most of that now. So sell. Heavy armor leadership. Plus four leadership. Yeah, don't really care about that. That right, can go. Sigma right hammer we can't use. Shield of protection is uh, too contingent on needing a successful parry. I did actually have a spare one of those as well. I'll keep one. Tell you what, I'll keep one. Yeah. Draft of calm. Get rid of those. I'll hang on to the oil bombs. They seem kind of cool. Hammer of Carnage can go. And I get rid of the clothing. Antidote. Several antidotes. Helmet. I'll keep the poultice and the other oil bombs. Yeah, that looks all in all just fine. Right, let's uh, pay for everyone. Pay treatment, uh, actually pay the wages, and uh, then let's see what happens overnight. Cool, so we finished training defensive stance on a couple of our goons, that's great. Uh, Tagom has finished learning how to insult people, uh, he's really up on his smack talk now. Uh, Crowthrowl is still in training. As done, of course, scrape the knee. We just saw that. So he's going to be out for next match. Uh, nothing else to report. Um, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am and will be joining me for the next. Remember to like these videos if you like them and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I shall see you next time for another day in more time. City of the Damned.